An interview with Australian incels. Uh oh. Hello, female. They're in their late teens and early twenties. Wait, wait, what did they say? Hello, how are you? Good. Hello, female. Hello, female. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is a good start. They're in their late teens and early twenties. Most of them haven't given us their real names. After a month of speaking on Why would you ask? Why do you want their real names? What 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 possible benefit can come from getting their real name? I wonder why. Why so 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 people can collectively harass them and their family? Line, they've agreed to meet with us in person to explain a bit more about who they are. Uh-huh. They agree to chat over lunch on the condition that their faces are blurred. Yeah. Is anyone here dating? No. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't be here. No. If you're yeah. dating, then you're not an insult. So. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, no. yeah. That's actually not true because there's plenty of people who are dating that don't get it in. I mean, like, that's not even really true. But sure. A hard line? If, if you women, date. And also, like, wouldn't anybody in a traditional marriage, uh, or, or looking towards a traditional marriage where you don't, like, uh, you know, have sex until marriage, like, wouldn't anybody who was dating then be an incel? Like, anyway, let's just keep going. Chances are you can have sex. Yeah. So it doesn't make you an incel. Right. Like, if you're talking about going on dates, I think you can go on dates and. Being so I'm more well, what are they trying to show like how his hair's greasy? Like what are you trying to say, man? Who fucking posted this shit? Shut the fuck up. Line in my definition. Some allude to a common incel belief. They call it the black pill. Yeah. It's the idea that women will only ever go for physically attractive men, that they've lost mm -hmm. the genetic lottery, and mm -hmm. their situation is hopeless. Do your parents know that you're an incel? No. 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 Um, my dad's like asked me when am I gonna get a girlfriend or whatever. I, th I feel like my mum knows I'm a loser. <laughs> it's like he's out of the closet with his mom. He's like, Mom, yeah, she knows I'm a loser, but dad hasn't figured it out yet. Are you all studying uh, at uni at the moment? No, I'm working. No, I'm, in I'm at uni. I'm studying. Wait, 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 what? At uni at the moment? No, I'm working. No, I'm a neat. I'm a neat. There it is, bro. My man. I'm at uni. I'm studying, kind of, yeah. It's mostly just STEM subjects. Yeah, no incels doing, like, social work or something. Yeah. And why do you think it's those kind of jobs? You don't have to talk to people, you can just focus yeah. on ideas and stuff. Uh-huh. You know I said I haven't spoken to an IRL void in three years? <laughs> That's partially... Oh, yeah, it's femoid, and this is an abbreviation of that. Because I do a STEM degree. Like, I've never been paired with a female. Um, thank f Yeah. If I did, I'd probably just walk out. Smart. No, I, I want to see the rest of it. Where's the rest of it? ...the hidden online world of incels. I have not interacted with a female that is not related to me in over three... I mean, this is a bit much, right? Look, what's this, Dr. Doom? Yes. They're mostly young men, usually virgins, mm -hmm. who can't find a romantic or sexual partner. Right. I must become more attractive. It's my last chance. But on the extreme end, some incels are becoming more menacing. There was quite a few women that I did want to break their nose so they would be ugly. We're staunch incels. <laughs> totally normal, right? Incels blame women and attractive men for the reason why they're not in a relationship. Around 60 terror attacks that can be linked to incel actors. We wanted to know who these incels are. I'm not sure, like, I mean, is that really true that incels are becoming terrorists? I, 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 I don't know if that's the truth. Is it? I mean, to be fair though, it makes logical sense. ...were, what they believed in, and just how extreme it could get. In okay. this two-part investigation, we gain access to a world that is usually closed off. Yeah. Especially to women. I bet. Well, and there are fem cells as well. The only difference is that incels get banned and fem cells are, like, verified. And it's like, there's a bunch of yas queens whenever they say stuff. It's actually insane how, uh... You know, just like, widely slandering men is oftentimes met with applause. Find it to be very annoying. Before we start this story, we want to let you know that it contains violent and distressing content. Oh, Elliot Rodgers, Including Rodgers, references yes. to sexual violence and the racist Supreme slurs. Gentleman. We're on our way to meet five incels who we've been chatting to online for about a month now. They usually chat to each other in forums and in servers, but today they're meeting up. And they're letting us join. One of them, who we'll call Tom, is well known in the community for building a server, which is kind of like an online chat room. Okay. He's agreed to meet us first at a hotel. There is most likely not a single female on the planet that would be willing to date me. How do you define? 
I disagree with that. I think he's a relatively decent looking guy. Right? And like all of his problems are personality based. Like he's a, he's relatively in good shape. Like he's not massively overweight. He doesn't have horrible hair. Like I can guarantee you if this guy worked out, he could get a girlfriend. He has hair. Yeah, he has hair. He's probably 5'5". Five five. Well, he opened the door, right? So like, let me see. And they're letting us join. Uh, 5'5". Five five. He's probably about 5'6 or 5'7", I would say. Yeah, like if this is a, if this is an 80 inch door, it's over. Wait, oh, it's already over for him. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, well, that's it, you know. And they're letting Thanks us for join. Thanks One of them, who we'll call Tom, is well known in the community for building a server, which is kind of like an online chat room. He's agreed to meet us first at a hotel. There is most likely not a single- I also want to let you guys know, um, it's possible to have trouble getting a girlfriend even if you're tall. I know this from experience. ...female on the planet that would be willing to date me. How do you yeah. define what an incel is? An incel is someone who is unable to get into a romantic relationship. He's nervous to be on camera. Well, it's involuntarily celibate, right? Whereas, like, monks are celibate. So it's like, I mean, a lot of these monks, bro, like, these guys are fucking shredded. Like, you go and you see, like, a Tibetan monk, it's like, holy shit. Yeah, obviously, like, he'd be able to hook up with somebody, be no problem, right? But, like, uh, it's the involuntary part that's the, that's the problem and has brought a mask with him to protect his identity. Being an incel has yeah. become quite sensationalist. No, it has I am worried that openly identifying as such in public might affect job prospects. What do you well, I don't think like, I mean, I, I, why would you identify as an incel? Like, that's not really like, like, I, I, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, I, I, don't, I don't get that. I don't understand what he means because like, I mean, it's the same as like being straight or gay. It's like your sexual preference. Like, what the fuck does this have to do with a job? What do you think when you see a woman on the street? I, I don't feel like I live in the same society as her. Mm -hmm. I think that every woman who encounters me on the street yeah. is inherently disgusted by me. I'm physically unattractive. I'm visibly autistic. Um, I think this is the problem that a person like this has. They think that the women that are walking by him are thinking about him. It's like he doesn't even realize that like most of the women that are walking by him aren't even looking at him or thinking about him or anything. It's all in his head. Yeah, exactly. Like he's thinking he's like the main character. Everybody's thinking about him around him, right? It's a it's a mindset problem. And I have no experience speaking to females. Tom casually browsed forums a few years mm -hmm. ago in high school. Now he feels so connected to the incel philosophy that he built his own chat room. Oh, wow. Sometimes, uh... Is that who I think it is? That isn't old Adolf, is it? <laughs> is that Adolf? It's not Adolf, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Incels can say some uh, edgy statements. Can you um, give examples? An edgy statement would be something like, I hate all women, um, <laughs> all women, uh, every woman is evil. Sometimes... Yeah, I would say... <laughs> like, what? I hate all women? Oh my god, this is so good. I never expected this to be this good. Wow. Then, um, f all women, uh, every woman is evil. Oh my Sometimes... God. A, f a small minority of users, um, when they're lashing out in anger, might, uh, might make uh, jokes about, uh, sexual violence. I wouldn't paint the server as something too serious. A lot of this is just people just having, like, fun social interaction, fun banter. In the 20 minutes we okay. spent looking at the chat, we saw nothing. You're reaching woman levels. <laughs> God. See symbols, racial slur. Women can't debate without resorting to insults because they are so emotionally driven. And unsurprisingly, hate oh my god! Oh, that see. Yep, that was a yeah. I thought it was Adolf. It's crazy how all these things kind of just cluster together. 
towards women. This is. Oh, a wait, 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 wait. I'll, I want to. We'll get the rest of these. Women are penis vampires. Oh my fucking god, this is amazing. How the fuck did I not see this whenever it came out? Is this. It's all probably from one guy. Yeah. Killing ugly animals isn't as satisfying as killing cute animals. Why? It's because you're a cuck and she will leave you. Oh my god. I will wear a. I'm not reading that. What's women? This is a, an example of an an incel and a female beefing with each other. Mm -hmm. The female said, y'all are boring, and this incel responded in anger. Can you uh -huh. read the message? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. It's not really that much of a good one. But this okay. server has been taken down yeah, around really. 10 times. Because, like, the reason why is because you know, like, if somebody types out that much, you know they're mad. So you've already won. Like, every internet argument isn't about who's right, it's about who can make the other person mad first. Those takedowns have not really had a dent on its popularity. It's hard to know how many incels exist, especially when they connect in private servers like this one. On the most mm -hmm. popular forum, there are millions of visits each year. By some estimates, at the very least, there are thousands of dedicated members worldwide. Oh, in there, there are probably millions of fucking incels, absolutely. I mean, because you also have people that become incels like after they get divorced or after their girlfriend cheats on them or something like that. So it's not really like they're incels, but they're basically part of that same community. Oh, there's a lot of people like this. It's huge. I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, I know all about this. Like anything. I, I've got to let you guys know, like anything crazy on the Internet. I know all about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Like, anything, like, you guys don't, don't understand, like, uh, this is what I, it's what I do. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's take some of the, the, the comments people have in chat, and I'll see which ones I don't know. Okay. Um, Snipe Wife said, Dracker Talks? Yeah, this is just some weird fucking, uh, Harry Potter thing. Yeah, of course. The Pain Olympics, that's whenever a guy stuck a, um, uh, uh, I think it was like a, a boat or something like that inside his dick hole. Yeah, I remember watching that with Dylan whenever we were in high school. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Mr. Hands is whenever a guy had sex with a horse and the horse killed him. Um, let's see here. What's the rest of these? Pick me. I've got some more of these. Josh Giddy, I don't know that one. I'm not sure. The comments about what? Salad fingers, one guy, one jar. Yep, it's whenever he smashes it with his jar. CBT, cock and ball torture. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I love refrigerator. Tub girl. Yep, with the guy shitting herself. Yep, I, I remember that. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Do we have any more of these? Watermelon woman. I don't remember that one. No, boxy. Uh, that was like 4chan 2007. I remember that very well. Uh, what else do we have? And uh, fish smuggling. Yeah, with putting them inside. Yeah. And um, uh, direct result of consuming feminization content on 4chan. No, this is just my... Kids in a Sandbox? Yeah, we watched that one in high school, too. It was the same thing. I think this is a thing where, like, a guy, uh, like, stabbed, a person stabbed another guy's dick hole or something like that. And, uh, like, I remember Dylan and I watched that in a uh, chemistry class. And, uh, yeah, it was about uh, 2007 or so. Um, let's see here. E-fucked? Yeah, I remember that. Absolutely. That was, like, a bunch of, like, really, really crazy fucked up stuff. Lemon Party was fucked. Uh, let's see here. For fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, this is just what we used to do. Um, mewing, yeah, that's the thing that you do with, like, your jaw. Yeah, I know all about that. Uh, Happy Days, that was, like, that cartoon, you mean? Uh, or is that something else? Maybe that's Happy Tree Friends, I don't remember. Um, Under Chosen, yeah, I mean, again, Fugly and Faces, yeah, any type of crazy stuff, like, weird stuff like this, Zoomers don't know. Yeah, like, this is what we used to do. Yeah, this was normal. Cicada through and through. I, I don't know that one. I, I'll be fair. I don't know that one. Goat Sea pools closed. All your base are belong to us. You're the man now, dog. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Goat Sea. I, I remember, like, we saw that one picture I thought was Goat Sea pools closed. That was from uh, 4chan on that one game, Habbo Hotel. All your base are belong to us. That was from a video game that was, like, badly translated. You're the man now, dog. This is from uh, YTMND. That's what it stands for. Absolutely. Yeah, guys. 
I, uh, I've got a lot of time. I've spent a lot of time on the internet. Raptor Jesus went extinct for your sins. Yes, I remember that. Absolutely. The true child of the internet. Yes. Let's see if I can find any more of this. Is this Show Us Your Dick Dylan? Yes, it's Show Us Your Dick Dylan. Yeah, the one that's been on my stream multiple times. Blue Waffle. Yep, I remember that. Don't Google it. Do a Barrel Roll. Good old Slippy. Yep, from, fi uh, from fucking Star Fox. Jesus Christ. Do you have any idea what joking? You have no idea what joking is? Joking is the, uh, it's the practice of using a machine to pump your dick to make it bigger. Uh, yeah, of course I know what that is. Why would I not know what that is? Can you do that? No. If you could, then uh, nobody would be selling uh, penis enlargement pills anymore. And they still sell them. The game, I lost it. Oh, yeah, sure. The serious coverage. What's this here? Clicked on those ads. It's crazy how people don't... Uh, people just don't get it. Cleveland Steamer, you know what that is? Yeah, when you take a shit on somebody's chest. Yeah. Like you guys need to understand. Like I got, I was the first. I was the first house on the whole block to get a uh, to get the internet in two thousand or two thousand one. Was one or the other? I don't remember which one. I think it might have been two thousand. I might even have it before then. I just don't remember that well. So I've been on the internet ever since the very beginning, and I have a uh, very very good memory. Chris Chan Sonichu, yeah. The little necklace. Oh, I remember all about that. Did you watch beheading videos? No, I don't really care about watching people get killed. I just think it's boring and stupid. Uh, it's like, why would I want to watch that? Yeah, I never really understood why people liked watching it. I do blame women to a significant extent for why we have so many men, single, depressed, lonely. There may be definitely elements of misogyny in the community. It's only reactive to- There may be elements of misogyny. That's quite a concession. We uh, are being unable Allegedly, to- Allegedly, yeah. Uh, get with females. It would probably dissipate if a female showed interest in them. What board are you browsing, uh, Jay? We later catch up with the rest of the group in the- pub. Oh, the gaming subreddit? Yeah, I mean, they're gaming fucking fortune. Yeah, I mean, look. I don't really think. Yeah, they're on 4chan. Yeah, a lot of these guys are on 4chan. Absolutely. Just tech. Is it tech? I forgot. Uh, I, the only one that I really look at is S, so I, I have no idea. And I haven't really been on 4chan. Like, I stopped going on 4chan. This is kind of a crazy thing. Is I, uh, I stopped going on 4chan whenever they added... Because, like, people were making a... Uh, they were posting pictures of themselves, and they were treating 4chan like it was a dating site. And then they made, like, a whole, like, board for, like, social 4chan stuff. Yeah, SOC, yeah. I thought that was really cringe. And so I, I usually don't go on there that much. This was in, like, 2009 or something. It was a very long time ago. See, so, yeah, I could be wrong about a number of these. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, female. They're in their late <laughs> teens and... <laughs> I just, I want to hear it again. Female. They're in their late teens oh, God, and early twenties. It's, it's so good. God, it's fucking amazing. I love this. Oh wow. Does this kid think life owes him? Yeah, I think so. That's what it is. And uh they're just lonely, man. Yeah, I think that that's really the main issue, right? I mean, incel incel is like a growing pain. It's a growing pain from the switch from traditionalism to VR sex with animals that don't exist. And, like, having incels is, like, this weird middle ground that, like, you're going through. It's like going through, like, puberty or something like that, where it's like you're awkward, things don't really make sense, you get mad or cry randomly. But don't worry, it'll work out whenever you can have your Neuralink uh, relationship with an animal that's not real that loves you forever and never ages. And that's what'll happen soon. He's... Most of them haven't given us their real names. After a month of speaking online, they've agreed to meet with us in person to explain a bit more Maybe about who this. they are. They agree to chat over lunch on the condition just, that their I'm faces are blurred. Is anyone here dating? 
No. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't be here. No. If you're yeah. dating, then you're not an insult. So. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's that hard line. If, if you can date, chances are you can have sex. Yeah. So it doesn't make you an insult. Like, if you're talking about going on dates, yeah. I think you can go on dates and be mm. insult. I'm more hard line in my definition. Some allude to a common incel belief. They call it the black pill. It's the idea that women will only ever go for physically attractive men. To be fair, black pill is just a general nihilist perspective on the world. It actually doesn't center around men and women, in my opinion. Uh, I think it is just a, a dark nihilist perspective on the world. And, you know, it's just, again, right? I think a lot of this incel stuff, it's like, again, like main character syndrome. Like, it's all about you. The world is set up to hold you back. No, it's not. It doesn't give a shit about you. That they've lost the genetic lottery and their situation is hopeless. Do your parents know that you're an incel? No. 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 Um, my dad's like asked me, when am I going to get a girlfriend or whatever? I, th I feel like my mum knows I'm a loser. Are you all studying? I have to say, that is the best part of the fucking video so far. Uh, at uni at the moment? No, I'm working. No, I'm, in the I'm at uni. Summer. I'm studying, kind of, yeah. It's mostly just STEM subjects. Yeah, no incels doing, like, social work or something. Yeah. And why do you think it's those kind of jobs? You don't have to talk to people, you can just focus yeah. on ideas and stuff. Yeah, I said I haven't spoken to an IRL void in three years. <laughs> and that's partially because I do a STEM degree. Like, I've never been paired with a female. Um, thank f If I did, I'd probably just walk out. I want to hear more from him. Yeah, like, I, I, I want to hear more from this guy. This guy, this guy is based, yeah. Like, we got to hear what he's, you know, let, let's, let's get his whole, let, let's get his manifesto. I wanted to know what direction the oh, incel movement was headed in. So I sat Here down with a researcher who spent 18 months looking at the largest incel forum on the internet. We gathered over a million posts um, from just over a year of activity on the forum. He found the number of visits were growing slowly and posts were getting more ex Well, of course people are going to become more incels because the thing is that nowadays, like this is the same thing that happens to girls, right? Like this is so, it's like kind of, you know how, uh, like this will happen to like young girls, like a 13 year old girl goes on to Instagram and she sees like a bunch of other girls that are like really attractive and it's like, she's a 13 year old girl. She's fucking stupid, right? So what the fuck does she know about Photoshop or makeup or, you know, camera angles or editing or any of that stuff, right? So she's got uh, camera lenses and like the perspective and all that. She's stupid because she's a stupid ass kid. So she sees somebody like that and then she sees herself and she's like, well, I'm always going to be ugly and I hate myself now. Well, I think this happens very often. And I think that for guys, it's just another version of it. Because guys will see, um, you know, other guys that are like, you know, really good looking dude, successful. He's got a bunch of girls around them. And it's like, it, it, they feel like, oh, I'm never going to be that person. Right? So like they're Andrew Tate. Yeah, well, not even just Andrew Tate. Just like average, successful, you know, in shape guys, right? That have a girlfriend or a family or something like that. And uh, there's lots of ugly dudes with hot girls. I am always amazed. I will be honest. I am always amazed whenever I see that. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, you just set my house on fire? Yeah, I know. It's about time, right? No, I think that, like, really, there's plenty of ugly fucking dudes that have hot girlfriends. I don't know how the fuck this happens. I'm gonna be honest. But I see these girls, and it's like this f ridiculously hot Instagram model, and she's got a boyfriend... And it's just a fat dude with an oversized t-shirt and a snapback hat on that's still got the sticker on it. And, and this is, this is the guy that she's dating? Money? No, it's not all money. That's the thing. That's what's so crazy about it. Is that it's not all money. Stream. We asked him to read some out. So this one is called Women Peak mm -hmm. at 12. Who in their right mind would prefer a 22 year old roasty to this? And they've got an image of a of a twelve year old. They send this one to the FBI. I think somebody needs a visit. <laughs> somebody needs a little bit of a, just a little bit of an investigation. Child, National Socialist Germany was the best country for incels. I told you these were Adolf enjoyers, man. I fucking knew it. Men are designed to be raped. 
Males have a sufficient strength advantage, and this was probably mm -hmm. our main method of procreating. It's all designed to make women yeah. seem like they're subhuman. In the oh, most yeah. popular forum, about half of well, it. Well, he's definitely right about that, is that, yeah, I mean, a lot of these people are just, uh, they're insane, right? Some of them are insane. And uh, impossible, yeah, these people are sick. Yeah, some of it is, is a bit over the top. I think that what happens really is that a person feels like they've been marginalized by society, right? Effectively, they've just been marginalized by society for one reason or another. And they join a group of other people who also feel that way, and then they just radicalize each other. Now, I think this happens with religions, it happens with ideologies, it happens with anything. And I think this is just another example of it. Now, I think that these people would probably never be as, as like, extreme as they are if they were just by themselves. But, like, there's a, um, uh, like, a fucking force multiplier effect that goes in whenever you have, like, a bunch of people getting together. Members are Americans and Brits, but there are also Australians in there too. The group we've spoken to have never expressed any of these thoughts to us. Callum says the people who end up in these spaces tend to be well, unimpressed. to be fair, it's not like they're going to say that, right? They're, nobody's going to come out and, like, you know, in the middle of a dinner and be like, yeah, actually, the girls that I like are the ages of, you know, like, no, they're not going to say this shit, right? Of course not. That doesn't mean they don't think it. Lloyd? have mental health vulnerabilities, and are insecure about their looks. Many users claim yeah. um, to be neurodivergent. Unfortunately, many... Well, I think that a lot of them probably are. And, and the reality is that um, there isn't really a lot of support for men that have, like, emotional problems. And, uh, you know, men that have, like, these types of issues. And, uh, yeah, I think it's absolutely true. Because the, the, the reality is you look at it from a evolutionary perspective okay evolutionary perspective it makes sense that a girl is going to want a guy that's big and strong because then he can hit the other guys that aren't as big as strong with a hammer or a club if they try to attack her makes sense right it makes sense that a girl is going to want a guy that has a lot of money and resources or power because he can use that power and money and resources to help their potential offspring, right? All of these things make logical sense, of course. And that, that's the issue, right? But like, and also the other problem is that uh, most men in society don't really need to exist in order to procreate in society, to, to, to continue, uh, what's the word for it? Like, uh, just continue society. Because one dude can get 20 girls pregnant, but one girl can only be pregnant with one guy's kid at a time. Basically, right? Outside of like extreme, super crazy circumstances. So it makes sense. That's This is caveman logic. You're right. As a matter of fact, you're right. Exactly. Yeah, that's the point. Answers they're getting are that mm -hmm. women are to blame for all this. And it just sort of yes. breeds this toxic, violent rage towards women that's really dangerous. But not all incels hate women and subscribe to the extreme end of things. Some go to great lengths to attract them. I am making some gains. For Raymond, he's hoping the gym is the answer. In YouTube videos, he talks about his journey to self-improvement. And so far, he's had half a million views. Hey guys, what's up? Improvement. And so far, he's had... I know one way you can improve things. I, I've got an idea. Maybe... Maybe buy more posters. And half a million views. Hey guys, what's up? Decline here. I am 30 and still alone. We're about an hour out of Melbourne and meet Raymond as he heads to the gym. I go to the gym six days a week. I want to build a good amount of muscle and get lean and shredded. It seems that a lot of people have been successful with that. I still haven't had a successful one-on-one -on -one encounter with a girl. Why do you think you've not had much success with women? 
Let's see on. Um... I think it's probably because he's got a bunch of pictures of anime characters that look of questionable age in his room. He probably has a weird personality because he views the only reason why. Like, it, it, it's like you, you think about it like this is how I see something like this. This is a person who has a bunch of pictures of girls in their ideal form, right? Like, this is his version of their ideal form. Like, th this is what he wants a girl to look like. And from his perspective, that's what he sees girls as. And so the projection of that is that he's going to work out so he can be looking the way that he thinks girls want him to look. So it's like a one-dimensional viewpoint on things. You see what I'm saying? A very small guy, like six-foot guys are a lot more successful. I don't know how to talk to women or anyone. Up until now, most of the incels that we'd spoken to were virgins. But that's not the case with Raymond. It has been some time since I had any sexual encounter that was not paid. I met some couples for uh, threesomes, MMF threesomes, and I found them not really fulfilling. Everybody has those same desires to want to feel desired and wanted. I guarantee you this dude do himself a whole lot more favors learning on how to fuck the talk rather than working out. I'll tell you that 100%. It's not even a question. Like, that's just the way they can't fucking talk. Who the fuck wants to go on a date with somebody who talks like that? That's just the truth. That's the way it is. And like, I used to, I had to go to speech training when I was a kid. And like, back in the day, I used to not be able to say the word photosynthesis. Even now, it's kind of hard for me to do because I was missing so many teeth. So whenever I say this, I'm talking about from experience. And loved. I don't subscribe to a lot of the common views of, say, black pill incels. Like, not everything is determined by your genes. These groups, I feel, have kind of hijacked the term. Raymond is hoping to have changed his luck with women by his mid-30s. Okay. If I haven't succeeded, I'll probably start focusing on other things, maybe just enjoying my life and just uh, rotting, as I say. I'll go back to my video games, there you go. start watching anime again, and maybe get a job. Ooh, dude, that would suck. Tom says he's no longer involved in running the server, but he's still given up on the idea of ever being in a relationship. I'm rather content. And this is another thing, right? You look at his fucking, look at his facial hair. Wait, you see this? This is like, uh, how, like, he not taking care of himself. He looks like a fucking idiot. This is trim your fucking beard. Quit looking like a clown. People say it looks fine. Yeah, it says you, look at me. M bro, my beard sucks. Look at this, I haven't shaved in a while, it looks like shit. If I shaved it, it would look way better. No, it's just sort of like a huge, like, gaping hole in your life and fitting into society, mm -hmm. I guess. Having bleak views affects my mental health and many other incel mental health by making us, like, much less caring about uh, our future prospects. The community is really the only reason why I stay and as the situation for young men continues to get worse uh it is inevitable that uh subgroups yeah, I, I think that guys definitely like there's a problem or like I think that as a guy this is kind of the uh the reality is that like women have like an intrinsic value because they can have kids and stuff like that right and uh I think it, it, it's a dynamic that women have this, like, innate value to them that guys don't have. Like, if you're a guy, it doesn't really matter, like... Like, it, it's like, if something happens to you, who gives a fuck, right? And, like, at the reality, it, it's kind of like a... So, like, basically it's like this. So, like, women are hunters and, and men are warriors. And in and, and classic WoW. And what I mean by that is, like, obviously, while you're leveling and, like, low level and mid level, like, hunters are going to be way fucking better than warriors are, right? Like, they have way more advantages. They can solve way more problems. They're better at doing all kinds of quests. And, like, just in general, hunters have it very easy. But whenever you get up to, like, max level, right? Like, the warrior 
pulls ahead massively. It's like you're talking about Warrior is top DPS. The Hunter's not even on the fucking meter. The Hunter's just there to give everybody else aspect of the pack. But if you stopped playing the game at level 40, you would think Hunter's the best class in the game. But if you make it to level 60, you'll realize Warrior is. And that's the way it is. It's like incels will grow. In the next part of our investigation, we look at how much of this online hate can spill out into the real world. The man obsessed with guns. Uh, with an online Ooh. history of misogyny. Killed his mother and four others. Having all these violent fantasies, constantly thinking about it, you know, rape, violence, murder. And their oh, yeah. only goal with me was to acquire some kind of sexual encounter. Oh yeah, that's the reason why the people, the people have the problems is like, a lot of the incel type people I think the biggest problem like that they have was video and want to see more subscribe to the Oh YouTube yeah, channel. we're going to watch another one of these for fucking sure. Like probably not today. I don't want to spend all day talking about this bullshit, but uh you know, I'll probably watch the part 2 at some point. But here here's really what it is, right? Is that a lot of these people have a problem. Their biggest problem is their personality, right? Like all of their all of their visual problems could be solved in one day. You know, like get a haircut you know, like, fucking take care of your, uh, your facial hair, uh, you know, wear nice clothes, take a shower, you know, like, clean yourself up, this kind of stuff, wash your ass, uh, brush your teeth, these kinds of things, these are, these are very easy. Says you, well, that's because I know, right? I, I know that, that's, like, I'm not speaking as, like, a, uh, what do you call it? I'm not speaking as, like, I'm not talking down, I'm, I'm, fuck, this, this is, like, this how I am too, right? But, like, if I wanted to, yeah, I'm an authority, honestly, I, I, I know this better than anybody else. So, and uh, unless they're like 5'2", they always have a chance. Well, there's people, there's girls that are 5'1", right? I mean, there definitely are. And uh, those are just standards, yeah. F females can also be incels. Oh, it's fem cells. Yeah, no, I know about that. No social awkwardness. The coping mechanisms deal with anxiety, real-life dating. Yeah, and, and so, like, that's really where, where I am with this kind of stuff. Is that, like, to me, I, I, I see this, and I'm like, okay, well, this is primarily a personality issue. Because, again... Like, you're never going to get taller, but I've seen plenty of fucking guys that are under six foot that have no problem getting girlfriend after girlfriend after girlfriend, right? It's happening all the time. I, you know, it is what it is. So it's like, yeah, this definitely happens. But, like, I mean, obviously being tall helps, right? It definitely does. Uh, you know, having money helps. Definitely does. Uh, all this stuff, it, it's all real. But um, I think the biggest problem most people have is uh, personality. They're not interesting. They don't know how to talk to people. They're assholes. And there's a lot of that. Is personality fixable? Absolutely it's fixable. Because the reason why people's personality is bad is that they have no... Like, all of their interests are anime characters, the Roman Empire, video games that came out 15 years ago, hating women. So, if those are the things that you can have a conversation about, you dramatically reduce the amount of people that want to talk to you. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, these are people that, like, they can't have a, a normal conversation about anything that isn't part of, like, the three or four things that they are hyper fixated on. Oh, an empire is interesting as fuck? I think so, too. I think it's great. But if somebody wants to talk about something besides that, I can have a conversation about that, too. That's what I'm saying. Why not find a girl that likes those topics? Well, because there aren't a lot of them. That's why. What the fuck? Like, what are we going to pretend like this is the case? Like, being invested and caring a lot about the Roman Empire, this is mainly a guy thing, okay? Like, let's fucking be honest here. What are we, like, <laughs> we're not playing fantasy games here, all right? At least not yet. No, like, you go watch these videos of Banner Lord, okay? You see any fucking person, a girl on a the mic there? No, you don't. It's all guys. It's 100% fucking guys. And it's like, yeah, there's a few girls here and there. But the majority of it is all fucking guys. And that's just how it is. And that's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that, like, girls are stupid or guys are smarter or vice versa. It's just different interests. 